What's up everybody? Welcome back again to the channel. This is the Rogue Vet here bringing you another short video. So we're going to be replacing the license plate lights to LEDs and the trunk lights as well in the trunk. So uh, links will be in the description below if you are interested in getting some of those for your C7 Corvette. And it's pretty simple. It shouldn't take very long. I'd say no more than 15 minutes tops. And that's probably extending it honestly versus what it's actually going to take to put them in. But let's go ahead. I'll show you how to install them and let's get it underway. Okay guys, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to replace the LED lights that are located just underneath right there and right there. And as you can see, if I go under, you can kind of see them. There they are. So we're going to be replacing those as well as, let me pop the trunk. That one right there and the one right there. So pretty easy. I got these off of Amazon. I'll put the links in the description below. But here is the package right here, the four ones that are going to be replacing those there. So let's go ahead and I'm going to start off with the ones in the trunk first. All right, so basically what you're going to do, guys, get yourself a pry tool or a flathead screwdriver and go ahead and pry on the side over there. Okay, and as you can see, the lights come out here. Uh, go ahead, there's a little tab here that you're going to use to... Whoop. I guess it timed out for the car, as you can see here, look, it's going to turn back on, but that's the light. Go ahead and unhook it, okay, once it's unhooked, it's going to be pretty hot, so I would just kind of let it sit for a few seconds, maybe even a minute or two, let that thing cool down, because it's pretty hot. Alright, so once you have this thing cooled down, here's what it looks like here. And basically, that little bulb, all you do is pop it out, and you're going to put your new one in to replace it. And like I said, here's going to be the new one that's going to go in place of that there. So let's go ahead and pop it out. All right, guys, I'm just going to use the pry tool here. Basically, just kind of put it like right in that little spot right in here. And then lift up. And... There it is, it popped out. So then let's take our new one right here and let's stick it in the slot like so and press it down into the spot. And that should be it. Let me stick it back in. Guys, so grab your little connector, stick it back in the slot. You should hear it clip. See if it uh, turns on with the key. And, well, it's not turning on, so I guess I put it in the wrong way. So what we'll do, I'm going to switch it. There it goes. So make sure you just put it in the right way. Otherwise, it's not going to turn on. But as you can see, there it is. It's connected in. So then, we're just going to stick it back in the way we got it. And bam, easy as pie, just like that. So let's go ahead and do the other side. Okay, pop it out using that little tool. And there's a little uh, release right here on the side. Just hit it. Ooh, it's hot. See, disconnect it. Let that son of a gun cool down because it is hot. All right, guys, so here it is again. So just use a little pry tool. I'm just going to stick it right in there and push up. Let's see. And there it is. It came out right there. Ooh, it's still hot. Okay, we're going to replace the other one. Stick it in, and let's see if this one's the way that works. So we'll just kind of shove it in there. And then, let's go put it in. Here, grab your connector, stick it in. Oh, so it looks like that's not the right way. So what we'll do, that's fine. Go ahead and pop it out, twist it, and then stick it back in. There we go, now it's good, okay? So then just put your thing back in there. The light is gonna go back in, let's see. Or maybe it's this way. Oh yeah, it's this way. Bam. And there you go. It's in. Pretty simple. 
Okay guys, so now I'm gonna be doing the license plate one next. So basically what we're gonna do, I'm gonna see if this is gonna work with the method that we still did here. So basically in videos, what I've seen is you gotta take a little pry tool again and just take it right in the corner up there and you get it out that way. So let me see if I can set the camera up so we can check that. Um, or if I hold it, maybe like right here, maybe I can get it, hang on, let's see. I got the little pry tool right there, but I'm trying to get it. I pried it from the corner here and just and it pops out. Just give it some force. So what you'll see is here's the connector. Go ahead. I think all you do is pull up on this tab right here and it should release the light. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, there's the connection right there pulls out the light so then I guess what you could do is just twist it out and there it is right there so it just kind of goes in and twists straight so we'll pull it out like that just set it down to the side go ahead all we do is I think all we do is just pop it out yeah pop it out grab your new one and here is the new one. Go ahead, stick it right in to the same spot. It just goes in snug. And then, let's see. We're just gonna stick it back in, twist it, and plug it back into the connector. Like so. And it should turn on. Let's see. I got the key in my pocket. I'll go ahead and hit the light. Yeah, and there it goes. Okay, so then all you'll do is go ahead and stick it back in and it should clip. There it goes, just like that. So we're gonna do the same thing for the other one. Okay guys, so I ran into one little problem. So one of the lights that came in uh, was not working. So three of them were working, but I'll show you all how that looks like in the dark. I'm about to close the garage, turn off the lights, and so that way you can see in the trunk and see how well the lights light up there's only one light in there though but i do have both on the bottom on the license plate so let me go ahead and cut the lights off and show you holy cow it's freaking dark in here so guys look i'm going to show you first the license plate cover lights so as you can see there's the license plate cover lights it's illuminating the license plate and that's pretty much what they look like there okay and then let's go ahead and pop the trunk open and I'm gonna show you. So that one ended up, uh, I had to switch it out and it wasn't working for the other one. But as you can see, there's the trunk light on that side. So we'll have to get a replacement one so that way we're matching. All right guys, so that's pretty much the install there. The only downside was one of them was not working, but that's okay, because I can just find a replacement, I'm sure somewhere uh, in town so I can get that switched out and ready to go um, but let's go ahead and call the video and that's pretty much it all right guys so i hope you all enjoyed the video just a quick install still highly recommend them they do look better than the stock ones but don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you do enjoy the content on the channel and this is the robot out to the next video guys thank y'all peace